increasingly popular during the past few years. E-cigarettes can be found anywhere from vapor stores to kiosks at the mall. KMU Waits Mil Meredith Miller is telling us how e-cigs are not only getting attention from users, but also from Missouri lawmakers and the FDA. In 2013, sales for e-cigarettes were more than $2 billion. The product is a battery-operated cigarette-shaped item that, when puffed, triggers airflow to heat up an LED light. The e-cigarette then vaporizes nicotine and other flavored substances. The idea of e-cigarettes is to be a healthier alternative to smoking and possibly help smokers quit by still giving them the nicotine and action of smoking without all the harms of tobacco. Although e-cigarettes sound like a healthier product than cigarettes, some lawmakers are skeptical. The Missouri House passed a bill in April regulating the age of e-cigarette purchases to 18 years old. However, some e-cigarette stores have already been following this rule. Um, our stores have always self-regulated and not sold to minors. Um, we don't sell flavors that are designed to attract minors either, like bubble gum or candy flavors. Um, and I think that the legislation is a good thing. Another way to discourage purchase is taxing these e-cigarettes. But for now, that provision is no longer part of the bill. And whether a tax increase on the product eventually comes, the vapor owners I talk to say e-cigarettes would still be cheaper than the real ones. It depends on the consumer and their willingness to spend. It's still going to be cheaper than cigarettes. That's all around and it's also healthier. So the benefit is your liveliness. Missouri lawmakers are not the only ones trying to regulate this product. The FDA is working on regulation, too. On April 24th, the FDA released a 200-page document regarding the regulation of e-cigarettes. Now, this 200-page document right here proposes putting a ban on the sale of e-cigarettes to minors, as well as requiring a health label to be placed on e-cigarettes. Now, health labels are already placed on regular cigarette boxes right here. Now, this new FDA proposal could be potentially harmful to the e-cigarette industry that was originally thought to be healthy. The FDA created this proposal because currently there is not much scientific research to show the risk and harmful chemicals in this product. For now, stores like Aqueous Vapor will continue to sell the product in its seven mid-Missouri stores with hopes of expanding it to more than a dozen. Meredith Miller, KMU 8 News, Columbia. The FDA will have a 75-day public comment period where anyone can turn in comments about e-cigarettes. The comments will be taken into consideration before the regulations are put into place. It was an absolutely beautiful day outside. So let's